watching. Welcome to PG Kids. We're gonna dance. Yeah. We're gonna sing. Yeah. We're gonna jump. Again, we see you watching. Welcome to TG Kids. Yeah. We're gonna dance, yeah. we're gonna sing, yeah. and we're gonna jump. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Father God, I pray that you help us through this whole time that we're doing right now. I pray that you help us through every tough time you put your hands on every single one's child's heart. I pray that you help us through this pandemic, Father God. Everyone in this world is going to be safe from every bad thing that's happening. No one's going to hurt their self. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. De Pierre 3, verset 18, mais quoi c'est dans la grâce et dans la connaissance de notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ, à lui soit la gloire maintenant et pour l'éternité. Amen. Proverbe 30, verse 11, easy come, easy go, but steady diligence pays off. to give God praise? Yeah. I said, are you ready to give God praise? Yeah. Come on and shout yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you want to be a fruit of the Spirit, come on and say, I want to be a fruit of the Spirit. I want to be a fruit of the Spirit. I want all the fruits of the Spirit. I want all the fruits of the Spirit. Okay, come on guys, let's go. Come on and put your hands up in your house. Just like this. The song says, I want to be a fruit of the Spirit. Do you know exactly what the fruits of the Spirit are? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Let's go. Come on, clap your hands. The fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut.
time is it? I said, what time is it? Bible story time. Great. So today we're going to read about a man who could not move. This is about a paralyzed man who's able to see Jesus with a little help from his friends. You guys like help from your friends? Yeah. I do too. So let's dive into the story. This story is from Luke 5, verse 17 to 26. A long time ago, in the town of Capernaum, there lived a man who could not move. He couldn't sit, he couldn't stand, and of course, he couldn't run. Oh, how he wished he could be like other people. Aren't you grateful that you could walk, eat, and talk? Yeah. I know, right? He always felt sorry for himself, except when his friends were around to help to cheer him up. One day, he felt so sad, he didn't even want to look outside his window. All he wanted to do was sleep. He closed his eyes, but it was too noisy to sleep. He heard people speaking loudly and ever so strangely. He heard some of them singing, others crying, and even others praying. He looked around and tried to get up. But oops, he remembered he couldn't move. Could you imagine not being able to move out of your bed? A little scary, right? Finally, he tried to ignore the noises and fall asleep anyway. Suddenly, he heard footsteps coming. Although he couldn't see them yet, he knew it was his friends. Why is it every time I want to sleep, my friends come, he thought to himself, but he didn't mind. As usual, he gave them the biggest smile when they came into his room. Come on and smile for me right now. Jesus is looking down at you right now. <laughs> hey, buddy, guess what? His friend said with excitement, the prophet is in town. This time, no matter how crowded it is, we're taking you to see him. The paralyzed man replied, is that why so many people are outside? Even if you take me, I doubt that I could see him with all the people blocking my way. Oh, it is useless. I'm just going to be a burden to you, he said. Go on ahead to see him and just come back and tell me what happened. Oh, no, no, we're here to take you, they said. Go away, go on, you might miss him. The paralyzed man pleaded, looking so sad. His friends looked at each other then they whispered to each other, argued a little, and whispered some more. Finally, they picked up the paralyzed man and put him on his mat. Isn't that good, friends? They picked him up and put him on the mat, right? Hey, what are you doing? He yelled. Whether you like it or not, we are taking you to see Jesus, his friend said. Off they went, carrying him as he hung on tightly to his mat. They reached the house, and as they expected, it was very crowded. They tried going left, they tried going right and of course tried to move straight ahead but they just could not get in the people were packed so close together they looked like sardines in a can <laughs> if you have ever seen sardines in a can the paralyzed man complained again oh how i wish i could see him but it is no use there are many people who can walk on their own and they can't even reach him so how can i his friends scratched their heads and looked at each other, then whispered some more. Finally, they picked up the paralyzed man and put him on his mat. Hey, what are you doing? He yelled. Whether you like it or not, we're taking you to see Jesus, his friend said off. What? You can't do that, the paralyzed man said with surprise and sounding a little angry. Yes, we can. You can't stop us because you can't move. Look at that faith that his friends had. Wow. So here he says, they reached the roof and then stopped. They forgot that there was no opening there. What shall we do now? They wondered. They all looked around. Then one friend saw something and shouted, I have an idea. Again, said the paralyzed man. Again, said the paralyzed man. But this time they ignored and set down the paralyzed man. He heard his friends banging and pounding again and again. Somehow, whatever it was they were doing, it did not bother him. He knew they were doing it for him and it put a big smile on his face. He closed his eyes and his heart started pounding. He smiled so much, tears began to stream down his cheeks. When the banging and pounding stopped, he still didn't open his eyes. His friends picked him up while laughing and singing they slowly lowered him down through the hole they created in the roof. Slowly and gently, they lowered him right down into the living room. He could feel the presence of the prophet. 
he opened his eyes and found himself face to face with Jesus. Could you imagine that? Then he looked up, thankfully to his friends, at the rooftop with tears of joy. His friends also watched in amazement as their friend suddenly stood up and picked up his mat. Then there were loud shouts of joy, praise, and singing. The man who could not even move for so many years could now walk. He could now walk. He could now walk. I know, right? Thanks to the faithfulness of his friends and the love and mercy of an even greater friend. That friend was Jesus. How many of you guys are grateful for Jesus? Come on and clap your hands. In the end, God heals. And if you believe that, then say a prayer to him right now. Lord, we thank you for being the God of healing. We know that by your stripes that we are healed. So we pray, Father God, that you increase each and every person's faith each and every child and each and every family's faith, Father God, as you're viewing us. And we pray, Father God, that you touch each and every person, whether they're in their households or in their hospital bed, Father God, or in their car, in Jesus Christ's name. See you next time on TG Kids. Bye! Well, we thank you for watching us on TG Kids. Until next time, if you're happy and you know it, sing along! Yeah!